Conor Gallagher has dug Pochettino out of his grave tonight. Chelsea Football Club narrowly skim past Leeds United 3-2 in the FA Cup in the first FA Cup tie for over 50 years between these two massive rivals. Now, Leeds United, they brought down like 8,000 fans. The whole of the shed was packed. They were loud all game long. They didn't stop singing. It was a tough game. They were behind their team from the get-go. Their manager didn't stop on the touchline. And they were up for it. They pressed the whole way up the pitch. And they made it a tough game. But what I saw from Chelsea and what Pochettino did with the lineup tonight gives me great concern. Again, time and time again this season, we've seen the same sort of thing from Pochettino. But today was probably the first time I've really seen him make drastic changes to the squad in a game where you feel like his job is probably on the line if he doesn't win, he drops some of his most influential players that he's had throughout the season. The most amount of minutes that they've had, he dropped them tonight. Obviously to rest them because they're probably exhausted from Wembley in the cup final, but we didn't see Conor Gallagher start. We didn't see Cole Palmer start. And we saw Sanchez return in between the sticks. Within minutes, he made a mistake. Chelsea were 1-0 down at home against Leeds United in the FA Cup. Are probably our second biggest rivals. For those of you that don't quite get it or weren't around or don't have family members that were around to tell you about it, this Chelsea and Leeds rivalry is huge. It's second only to Tottenham. You can tell as soon as you're around it and the Leeds fans are around Stamford Bridge, you can just tell. You kind of just feel it. You sense it by being there that this is nasty. There's a little bit extra in this game, which you don't get every t- every game you go to, but you know when the rivalries are there, you feel it. And and tonight you could feel that a little bit. And Chelsea fans were singing songs about Leeds, and Leeds were getting on Chelsea's back as well. And it was a little bit to and fro in between the crowd, but we went behind early doors. And you know what? Pochettino waved his arms up in the air and he sat down in his chair. And that's when I knew I'd got my answer. Pochettino out is where I'm at. Fully, 100%, this isn't the right person. Because when we went 1-0 down to Leeds within a couple of minutes, he didn't get the team up and, come on, it's Leeds. Like, get up, the fans don't want us to lose today. We've lost the final. He sat down in his chair and went, that's what he did. And I knew at that moment that I was right. Anyone I've spoken to that's telling me Poch in, delusional, crazy, He sat down in his chair and didn't even want to fight. And for me, that cannot be Chelsea's manager because he doesn't understand what that meant to the fans tonight to win against Leeds United. I'm over the moon we've beaten Leeds. If we'd have lost or gone into extra time, I'd have been devastated because we had to get that job done tonight. I wasn't confident at all. I felt like we were exhausted. We We had the disadvantage going into this tie. No matter that we're the Premier League side that spent all that money on our squad, Leeds were confident coming into this. Leeds felt like they could get a wounded Chelsea. And they nearly did. They very nearly did. But what concerned me most tonight is the way we set up. Sanchez returns to the team. We look to play out from the back again. Overcomplicated things, made mistakes, they scored. We were pressed very easily. I actually thought for the first half, Mudrick looked okay. Played in like the 10. Sterling was out on the left. Cole Palmer was on the right. Jackson through the middle. Mudrick fitted in in the 10 role where Conor Gallagher's played a lot of football. Looked really good. Got on the ball, couple of crossfield passes. Dribbled with it. Didn't lose the ball. Passed it and moved very well. Actually scored a goal, which is, if you watch that goal back, that's really good. Like, that pattern of play and the way we work that goal is exceptional. And, you know, that's what I kind of want to see a bit more of. But I saw it twice in the whole game, maybe once. Uh, Really get executed the way it should be, and that led to the goal. And that's what worried me. Then comes second half, Sterling went off, and Mudrick got moved to the left. And then he he looked pretty much like the Mudrick we've seen most of his career in a Chelsea shirt. Pretty uh, ineffective heavy touches, overran the ball. And it was really confusing because why was he so much better in that 10 role? And then 
second half was miles off it. It was hard to watch because you can see these flashes of brilliance in him sometimes and then you see absolute despair. So that confused me a little bit. I felt like Jackson was good. Jackson had an okay game. Not his best by a long way. But what I will say uh, about Pochettino is if he's renowned for something, it's about, arguably, it's about him getting the best out of his strikers. And you could probably argue that with Nicholas Jackson, he's doing that. That's what I'd say. Nicholas Jackson is arguably doing okay this season under Pochettino. Good goal tonight. Took it well. I don't feel like this manager is promoting leaders. I don't feel, don't feel like he's promoting winners. I feel like this Chelsea team are so far off it in so many areas. And there's such a lack of direction. And we saw that repeated again. But what I will say is, Aston Villa, Palace, City, Liverpool, now Leeds, all within the 90 minutes, Chelsea Football Club, haven't lost a game of football. Five games in a row. Look, extra time, different story. We looked unfit. We didn't turn up. And I'm not saying we didn't lose the final. I know we lost. But for 90 minutes of that final, I felt like Chelsea were okay. We weren't horrific. We weren't great. But we're pretty similar to where we've been for the majority of the season. We just didn't take our chances. We were a bit unlucky. Now, and that's against Liverpool. Top of the league, by the way. I think... It's been okay in terms of results. The final, I know, and it's a big I know, because I'm gutted we didn't win that. And I really feel like we didn't take our chance. And I'm sure people are getting some confidence from this, because actually, away from the final, it's some pretty okay results. We're through to the next round. We got Leicester at home. That's a good draw, by the way. Man United got Liverpool. Newcastle got City. We got Leicester at home. It's okay. We all know how we've been against Leicester in the FA Cup in recent years, but it's another nice draw. Chelsea have had a, a bit of luck with draws this season in the Cup. So, should should we turn up and do what we need to do against Leicester, we've got another trip to Wembley in the semi-final of the FA Cup, hopefully. But, and the big but here is, I'm not sure I have any more confidence from these four or five games that we've had recently going into the next game against Brentford or just to see out the season in the hope that we can get European football. I've got nothing to buy into. There's no purchase from the manager for me that makes me want and believe in what I think he can achieve as the manager of Chelsea Football Club. There's nothing for me to buy into. It's awful. I'm fed up. I've never been this disconnected. I hate turning up to Stamford Bridge and being this disconnected with a manager. It's awful. I love turning up to Stamford Bridge and being able to back the manager and back the team and feel the glue between the fans and the manager and everyone. And it's just not here. And Stamford Bridge is a weird place at the moment. And I heard Wembley was even weirder. The, be the best atmosphere by a mile, in my opinion, that I've seen at Chelsea are the away games this season. By a mile. It's actually one moment in time watching Chelsea where I feel a bit of camaraderie, where people feel together and in unison supporting their team. I'm not seeing that at Stamford Bridge. There's a lot of opinions being split now. The club's pulling in one way or the other way and the fans are doing the same. It's complicated. But one massive concern I want to touch on a little bit about Poch is, look, we're through. There's, not, there's nothing to write home tonight. Conor Gallagher, come on. He had to rely on his is players who have, he's relied on all season to come on and do him a job. And they did. Conor Gallagher, for me, is an indispensable player in this Chelsea side under Pochettino. And he's proved it again tonight. Yes, a deflected goal, but look, he's fought for that. Enzo did really well in a game where I didn't think he was great tonight. Did do really well. And we scored. Our midfield was really good today in terms of having an effect on the game. Enzo obviously had an effect later on. I felt like Mudrick in that 10 had an effect on the game. Conor Gallagher's come on and scored. And I felt like Moises Casado might have had a good game as well today. I don't think he did too much wrong. A couple of good passes, a couple over here, here and there. But I'm starting to see the value that he adds to this team. I felt like when he was pressed this evening, his resistance, very good. I spoke about that a few videos ago, about how good he was at Brighton doing that role. Very good tonight. He got pressed a lot by Leeds. 
and he didn't look phased. However, we have to remember, Leeds United are a championship side and maybe that's why Mudrick looked good tonight because maybe that's his level. I'm not sure, but um, it's food for thought. A couple of players in the Chelsea side, maybe it's food for thought. Is that their level right now? Anyway, Pochettino. Really for forgot to mention this a little bit and I need to say it because I'll forget otherwise. His main thing when he came in in pre-season was about the fitness. It was so gruelling. Players were being sick. They were throwing up. It was tough. He was all about fitness as his number one and then tactics came second. But we were always going to be fitter than the opposition. Well, that, that game against Liverpool and even tonight, I felt like we looked a little bit lethargic. I felt like 120 minutes for Liverpool, they barely had a bead of sweat on them. Chelsea looked exhausted after the 90 minutes. Extra time, we never got going. We're all well aware of that. Today, I felt like the same. I felt like Leeds were able to outrun Chelsea tonight. They were fitter. They were stronger in terms of their physicality. And they've got unlucky to not get, to not get something from this tie tonight. Ultimately, we were the, the better side eventually by scoring three goals to their two. Were we the better side in terms of how we played? Probably not, to be honest with you. I didn't think we there was anything to write home about tonight at all with how we were played. And it was very confusing, bar two goals that I thought were actually taken really well. And then Conor Gallagher's obviously was sheer determination when he received that ball from Enzo and sheer determination from Enzo driving through. But... I don't see this exceptional fitness that I was expecting to see from Pochettino. I'm not seeing it in this side. And that's concerning because that was his selling point. That was, I'm going to make us super fit and then that will carry us through when our tactics don't. I'm not seeing that. You might make an argument that tonight it eventually happened, but that was his subs. And also you kind of see what a difference it made bringing on better players off the bench. We ended up getting a result, whereas against Liverpool, we brought Madueki and Mudrik on and we didn't get that result. And Nkunku, we didn't get that result. It just shows our squad is very stretched at the moment and the bench isn't very strong and it only seems strong when you've got your best players coming off of it. So, very confusing, very concerned with Pochettino and the direction Chelsea Football Club are heading in. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already liked this video, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you still potching? Are you happy with this performance tonight? Obviously, we're all happy with the result. We want to be into the next round of the cup and we want to beat Leeds. But I'm in a confused state right now with Chelsea Football Club and I, I think it's time for the manager to go. It papers up the cracks a little bit for me. I'll catch you in the next one. Tune into Chelsea Fan TV for my fan cam and the player ratings show as well. I'll see you in a bit.